We sold our house and we're moving. Welcome to Saskatchewan. Goodbye, Alberta. Welcome back to the channel as we drive across Canada on our pursuit to our new property. In this episode is days three, four, and five as we drive across Ontario, as it takes three days to get across Ontario, but there's a lot of great views along the way. He would not want to come on this adventure. Lake Superior. I don't know. We've never, so say once or I twice we'll in a lifetime. Saying it's not that cold? It's cold, but it's not like freezing cold. That sunrise. A little over halfway there, Ontario takes forever to get across, almost like three days. But there is no shortage of sights and experiences and great places to stay. Callie, <laughs> I know you want to dig. Ah, ah, ah. 
it was important to us at each campground to find a place that the dogs could get out and run and play and have a little fun after being cooped up in the vehicles all day. And what better place than a waterfall to refresh us? So we hiked back to our site and got tucked in for the night, ready for the next day of driving. I think my favorite part about having a trailer, especially while driving, is that I can just stop at the end of the day and crash and sleep. Definitely my favorite time. So day five, we continued onward. We packed up the trailer and the animals and we set off to the next campsite. As the trip progressed, we planned it out so that the days got a little bit shorter as we got closer to our destination, getting the heavy load done early and leaving a little bit of time for exploration, like this mama bear and her cub that we came across. On day five, we drove six hours to the Fitzroy Provincial Park, Two Rivers Campground. We set up our camp and then were able to have some time to reflect on the trip so far. We've gotten through how many days? Five days? Six days? We left on Tuesday, it's Saturday. Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So five days without any problems. Does it feel like it's been five days or? <laughs> In some ways, yes. <laughs> the driving yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. Today has been my best driving day, I would say. It didn't feel as painful. We'll get up earlier tomorrow. We say that. <laughs> well, no, I just. This morning I wanted to sleep in. This morning we needed to sleep. And believe it or not, ecologically, we're fine with the time, but we are kind of jet lagged. Yeah, we're ahead. Maybe At least two hours. That's why I found it hard to sleep the first couple nights. Cool. No wonder it was so hard to get up, setting an alarm for two in the morning. Yeah. You gotta get to bed faster. You start getting all antsy and anxiety and start freaking out about everything and I'm lying in bed and I'm just like shut off <laughs> you can go just to bed <laughs> crawl into there mm -hmm. like a little pig in the mud sty mm -hmm. there's stuff everywhere there's stuff on your bed you're just gonna roll into it the place is so disorganized and cluttered and I feel like everything has to be kind of like put away and organized in order for me to fall asleep because it's such a small space I don't like tripping on stuff because I'm in the bed Whole freaking camper is just <laughs> rocking because Caitlin is just <laughs> and like 50 questions. My clothes are done. You have to open the top, pull on the corners so there's no nothing getting caught. And then you have to do it. And you're supposed to put the butter in first. I did put the butter in first. Well, let's see how that is. <laughs> I know how to make mac and cheese. Yeah. They were just go ahead and dish yourself Whoa, buddy. What was your favorite day so far? Favorite campsite was Rainbow Falls by far. Probably the day that we were driving into Ontario. Mm, that was such a pretty drive, but it was so long. I think that was my favorite campsite too. Just because you could fall asleep listening to the waves. I slept so hard that night. I was out like a light and I didn't wake up till the alarm went off. Loki was actively like pushing under my blanket like on my arm to get under the blanket and then once she did then she crawled all the way down my side and curled up between like my feet mm -hmm. at the end, under the blanket she likes to do that we haven't really had any problems with navigation pies that was a terrible campsite pies landing the showers were good it's designed for large pull-through rigs because it would be very hard to get one of those giant rigs in here. These narrow little um, roadways. Day one, we were so excited to get on the road. The drive through Saskatchewan was really long. It and was. boring and smoky and dusty. I'm glad it was the first day though. I liked Saskatchewan because I love prairies and that sort of thing. I love the big open sky and the big machinery and the golden fields and stuff. It was really smoky. My allergies were just like off the charts. After Manitoba, that's when things settled down. What's been the most challenging thing for you so far? Mental thing of trying to comprehend that we just sold our house 
moved away from the home we've had for the last 10 years, the province, all our friends, two amazing jobs. Maybe the biggest thing was just making sure that this camper stays in one piece while we're driving. I'd say the cats, like the animal management, has been very much a challenge. Oh, Loki. She's been adapting. I think it's like the animals. I think every time we stop, they think, okay, this is home now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do it all over like, again. Tricked you. <laughs> Not and home like, yet. Next camp's like, oh, okay, this is home now. <laughs> nope. I'm very surprised at how good Rangar has done. He is, he's done like the best out of all. He has been so chill. Look at him even now. He's just like chilling mm -hmm. there. It's been like Rangar, Fen, Kali, Loki. Yeah, Loki's been the worst. <laughs> She's the one that we thought would be like totally cool with it. She just wants to explore everything. She hates being cooped up in that cat cage. Yeah, the animal management, the tight quarters inside, figuring out the bed situations has been a struggle with, for myself with back and neck problems. But that memory foam mattress really helped what Good. we picked up. <clears throat> that has been a game changer. And each day we get better and better at our, just our general duties of like, what does we do first and getting the cats ready and the dogs more efficient. Let's do a quick little tour while it's still light enough out. So inside, we have the first bed, which is like a table dinette. Don't mind, this is really rough from driving. But this is where I sleep because Rob can't stretch out. Got this really nice like comfort mattress to put on top. That's worked out really good. The cats love to sleep on that little ledge right up there. All these windows open, it's really nice and cool at night. Extra blankets and towels. Nothing's really organized yet because we have nowhere to put anything. Basically anything that we needed within the first two weeks of moving to our new property came with us in here. Everything else went on the truck. Got our little fridge. When we get to the property we'll set it up on the propane. Uh, coffee and drinks. All the spices and oils. Anything you could need for cooking. And this is kind of the catch-all. <laughs> this is the bench that turns into a bed. That's the long bed where Rob's sleeping with Fen. We have to make sure it's all cleared off every night, basically. We've got all of our dog supplies here by the front door. Leashes and tie-ups and harnesses. And then painted that, actually, before we left. All our clothes. And the non-functional bathroom. It's really just for storage. This is where we have to maneuver the cat litter box, which is kind of sucky, but at the same time, we have to transport our animals and our cats need a litter box, so. And we just clean the litter box every single day. Um, when we're on the road and we do animal checks every couple of hours for driving, then we will put them into the trailer with their water, and uh, litter box and they're fine. On the next episode, we reach the final destination. Oh my goodness, this is the driveway. This is home.